What's going on guys, Steve with Heights Canine. I'm out here with Kenobi right now and I wanna talk for a minute about teaching dogs to follow on a leash. So I get a lot of questions every single day asking, you know, why are these dogs walking behind you as opposed to at your side? Why aren't you teaching heel? Um, the people that are interested in learning about the following, they wanna know how do you shape this? How do you get the dog so far back? How do you get the dog here? So on, so on. And I wanna just kind of clear up a couple of, uh, you know, just ideas and concepts behind why we teach dogs to follow on a leash. So, in Kenobi's case, come. When we're walking with a dog and when we're teaching following on a leash here, it's important to realize that this isn't about a position, right? Following is a state of mind for the dog, right? It has nothing to do with left side, right side, behind us, anything like that. It has to do with the dog being in a state of mind of truly feeling like they should be following you, right? By feeling like you're a respectable enough leader that they should be paying attention to you on the walk and going whatever direction it is that you wanna go. So, how do we get the dog to this place? How do we teach them that you should be paying attention to us on the walk? You shouldn't be tuned out and do that in a way where, you know, we get the dog truly paying attention to us. We do that by communicating clearly what it is that we want them to do and what it is that we don't want them to do. Once you start creating boundaries on the walk and once you start creating, you know, consequences for behaviors that you don't want, like, you know, picking things up off of the ground, reacting to other dogs, controlling their impulse around environmental distractions, the dog naturally falls into position. So the reason why I'm able to get these dogs walking so much further behind me than owners may be able to initially is because I develop relationships with them right off the rip from when I get to know them based on structure, guidance, and leadership, right? So I base this relationship with them initially off of the idea that I am able to influence your behavior, right? I'm able to tell you very clearly in a way that you understand, don't do this or do this, right? I'm not creating it through shaping positions and making sure they understand what sit and down means. I'm doing it in a different way that's more natural to the dogs. So when dogs are out in the wild, that's how they communicate with each other, right? They stay away from things that they're supposed to stay away from or that they perceive as dangerous or scary and they go close to things that make them feel comfortable. So my idea is by communicating both ends of that spectrum that we can truly get the dog into that state of mind where they feel like they should be following us and see us in that light. So don't overthink it, right? It's not about a position. It's not that I need to shape and reward the dog for being right here, right here, right here. The dog naturally feels like they need to fall back into that position through the relationship that I'm developing with them. So um, there's so many factors that go into this, right? There's so many little details as far as, you know, again, how I get the dog to that place. But as long as you have a way of communicating yes and no in a very clear way to the dog, and you begin utilizing that instead of just micromanaging them with the obedience, you're gonna get the dog to that place. Uh, in the meantime, I have videos on my YouTube page of how to shape the following. I have videos on my YouTube page about, uh, and on my Facebook and Instagram, about, you know, how to begin communicating these boundaries to the dog and just, you know, general steps to getting in that right direction. But keep that in mind. Remember, it's not about a position. It's about a state of mind. So um, David with Heights Canine, got Kenobi here. Kenobi's done some training in the past. Um, let me know if you have any questions.